All right, guys, let's let's go. <laughs> Michael Gardner. All right. And, you know, when you see this, 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 you know, pop up on the screen, you know, you're thinking, okay, it's a three star, high three star from Peoria, Arizona. I mean, what, what I'm finding out about, and I'm, you know, this has probably been like a year or two of really studying like linemen and, and their ratings and things is that if you're six, five and you just have these measurables, cause if you just clock in at camp, you have long arms, you, you you have the height, you're going to get the stars, even if you're kind of a, you know, raw player or you don't have a lot of production or you don't play with outstanding physicality because it's maybe like, okay, the upside, the upside, the upside, almost like a draft. But, you know, this guy is 6'2 and 220 pounds. But like right here, you can immediately see how slippery Michael Gardner is. Michael Gardner, okay? Like, this is such a slippery, slippery move, okay? It's slippery meaning like he's so tough to block. He's so tough to block, and he slivers, he can bend. I mean, he has incredible athletic ability, all right? Like, look, and he plays with incredible urgency. I mean, when that ball is snapped, the get off, I mean... He's going by the seat of his pants or meaning like the get off is <laughs> he's, you know, he's, he's freaking, you know, getting off the line of scrimmage at just an insane level, an insane pace level. He's got long arms too. And this kid is, tw- he's what you call twitchy, you know, slippery defensive linemen are often twitchy. All right. He's unbelievable at just diagnosing and his motor as you'll see, it's a really impressive highlight tape, really impressive. And even here, the bent, the bent. I mean, he has the ability to bend, close angles. He plays with urgency and speed. All right. And so we're going to watch him. And I mean, you watch him right here. Watch, watch his technique too. wide base, wide base, wide base, shimmying. So basically he's watching that quarterback to see, are you going to hand that ball off to the running back? He looks at the back. He could attack the back right here. He's in unbelievable position. He, he, he it's basically one on two and he still makes the play brings the quarterback down with incredible ease here. He's playing outside diagnosis finishes the play great physicality all right here look at him diagnose the screen pass look at him get out to this back i mean watch this speed here watch this speed i mean he is absolutely f- fantastic for the modern game he isn't just your nose guard that's just going to stuff the run and can't get anywhere he's going to get sacks he's going to be all over the field he's going to be chasing down plays and he's versatile. He can drop in coverage as well. And are you kidding me with this play? The duck under, you know, and, and just the awareness here to see this shovel pass and to go attack the leg of the, um, to go get a TFL there on a uh, on 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 a running back, or, or you know, the havoc plays. They calculate havoc plays at Oregon. Dan Lanning havoc plays as a tackle for loss, a deflection. A, a deep DPI, I guess, defensive pass deflection uh, right there is another havoc play. So it's all what Dan Lanning with Tosh and with Tony T are really going to love. All right. And right here. Oh, I mean, I mean, just the get off is just ridiculous. Watch. It's almost like he's timing the snap count. And then watch him reach over the top and affect the quarterback forcing an interception going right to his guy deflects that ball volleyballs the ball perfectly to his backer who gets an interception plays with great energy infectious i just love watching the kid on tape i i love watching this kid play the game all right this is a kid that i just really love watching him play the game I mean, he's 6'2", but he's twitchy. He works at the game. He has incredible effort. He's all over the field. Even if a play's away from him, he's never going to take a play off. 
I can't say enough about this guy. I mean, I'd have him, if I were ranking, he'd be almost a four or five star. That's that's how much I like Michael Michael Gardner. There are plenty of kids rated higher than him that I've reviewed. And this kid, too, you know what I like about him? Like, a lot of times you have a defensive end, and the edge guy will also be a tight end. So you don't know, are you going to play him at tight end, or are you going to play him on the edge? Are you going to play him at linebacker, or where are you going to play him? Oregon is getting guys, and, and some of my favorite schools get guys that, you know what, they are just... They are spe- They are guys that have played a position, so they play defense, and they play it well. And you immediately know what they're going to do. And this guy is a 4-3 defensive tackle, and he's going to be slippery, and he's going to be really tough to block. I mean, look at this lateral move here. This is what I love from a defensive tackle. I love the ability to move laterally and to showcase speed and to showcase posture and to showcase flexibility. And that's exactly what he does. He's slippery. The offensive lo- the guard cannot even get a hand on him. He's so athletic and slippery. All right, his side-to-side lateral agility. That's what you should look for in a defensive tackle. How twitchy, how lateral side-to-side flexibility, how slippery are they? And he's slippery, all right? So he's got all the moves to make it, and he's a fun football player to watch. And you go to Arizona again, you know, a lot of guys on that staff are from Zona. You got Kenny Dillingham. They just hired an offensive assistant, a really young guy, very impressive, that is also an assistant on, on, on the recruiting side that really helps out as well with quarterbacks, and he helps in Arizona too. So again, recruiting Arizona, massively important, a massively important area. And this 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 guy, uh, Michael, he's, he's from Paoria, which is, you know, that's that's Arizona. That's the Phoenix metropolitan area. All right, so really nice recruit. I love the I love the pick at or I love the kid. Again, this isn't just draft picks. These are relationships built over time. These are players. These are about establishing relationships that not only last the four years at Oregon, but last into whatever the endeavor they decide after graduation. Um, so again, really excited. All right, look, he's got the spin move. He's polished. And um, and he's going to be a fun football player to watch, put it that way. Knock on wood for good health. Go have a great senior season, Michael, uh, in Arizona, and then go up to Eugene and make some havoc plays.